الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيرته من خلقه صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى الآل والصحب الكرام أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون My brothers and sisters, we should be developing what is known as taqwa or the consciousness of Allah. We should be developing the correct relationship with Allah. We call ourselves Muslim. We follow a religion known as Islam. If you were to ask people what is the meaning of Islam, they will either tell you it means peace or they will say it means submission. Why is it that many of us are still complaining that the lives we are leading are very far from being peaceful? If we were to look at the issue of peace, we would realize that it is only by going back to the basics that we will be able to achieve that peace. Always remind yourself of the ingredients of peace that are given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am in search of peace and so are you. I would like to see a continuation of the peace that I feel. I would like to see a growth of that peace. I would like to share that peace with others. I would like to see peace not only in this world, but in the next as well. If you are to look at the first ingredient, the most important ingredient of this peace, it is known as Shahadati Allah ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As simple as that may sound, it is the cornerstone of achieving inner and outer peace. The meaning of the term La ilaha illallah is, I will not worship anyone besides Allah. I will only render acts of worship for Allah. I will never ever render any act of worship for anyone besides Allah. That is the meaning of La ilaha illallah. Many of us, if I were to ask you what is the meaning of La ilaha illallah, we would say there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Well, what exactly are you saying? You are saying I will never render any act of worship to anyone or anything besides Allah. Similarly, when we say Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what we are saying is, I will follow the example and the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because I declare that he is the messenger, the final messenger sent by Allah to us. This is the cornerstone of peace. It is known as the first pillar of Islam. It's amazing. It is not something that is by the way. It is the most important pillar, the cornerstone. When people enter the fold of Islam, they are told to declare that they will not render any act of worship except for Allah. They are also told to declare that whatever Muhammad peace be upon him taught them, they will follow to the best of their abilities. This is what is meant by entering the fold of Islam. Once you've entered it, you feel a peace because you have a connection with he who made you. When I say La ilaha illallah, I am saying there is none worthy of worship besides the one who made me. Besides the one I'm going to return to. He is the only one who is owed worship. Similarly, if you look at the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, where he came to ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam some questions, and one of them was, Mal Islamu, what is Islam? He says, Shahadati Allah ilaha illallah wa anni rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we've spoken about that. وَإِقَامِ الصَّلَاةِ وَإِتَاءِ الزَّكَاةِ وَصَوْمِ رَمَضَانِ وَحَجِّ الْبَيْتِ لِمَنِ اسْتَطَاعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا The second pillar is إِقَامِ الصَّلَاةِ شَهَادَةِ أَلَّا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهُ 
wa iqami salah you need to establish your prayer you need to make sure that you have connected yourself with allah you said that you will not render any act of worship except for allah then you need to prove it by engaging in prayer for the sake of allah you get up in the morning for the sake of allah the beauty and the peace that you will feel when you connect with allah is unmatched الذين امنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله الا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب those who believe will achieve the peace and the comfort of the heart through the remembrance of allah for indeed it is only through the remembrance of allah that the hearts can attain that peace that comfort that tranquility may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding you want peace remember allah open the quran every morning read it recite it be in the mind frame to sit with the word of allah to look into it to try to understand it it will calm you down if you would like the contentment and the peace you need to fulfill your prayer the minimum is the five daily prayers it's the second pillar of islam you are looking for happiness contentment sustenance the owner of sustenance is the one whom you are not even praying to how do you expect that peace may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen all of us with our prayer amen so iqam is salah you have now established your link with allah you pray for him but that's not enough it's not the only pillar it's not your only duty there is another duty that you have unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says ita is zakati it's mentioned so many times in the quran did you know that once you declare that there is none worthy of worship besides allah and that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the final messenger and you pray connecting yourself to allah Allah tells you now I want you to share whatever I have given you with others who don't have what you have subhanallah that is a pillar of islam and it is one of the ingredients of peace you want peace you have to share what Allah gave you with those who don't have it it's known as az zaka az zaka is a duty unto Allah it it is up to Allah if he wanted he could have made all of us wealthy if he wanted he could have had no one in need of the distribution or the wealth that another has but it is part of his divine plan he will provide and he wants to see what you do with what he has provided are you prepared to share it if you are you will achieve peace allah says i created the others i created those who don't have what you have and i want you to dig deep in your pockets and to share it with them many of us are selfish that's why we don't see the peace that's why we are not at peace we look at others and we run away we look at someone in need we we go away we look at the muslims the non muslims they are in need we go away what are you going to do with your wealth you want happiness put a smile on the face of others and see the smile allah will place in your heart amazing you put a smile on the face of someone allah will grant you a smile on the day of judgment subhanallah why because allah says if we wanted we could have given them but we are giving you so that you can get closer to us and if you are to receive you naturally pray for those who have made it easier for you the hadith says man naffasa an muslimin kurbatan min kurabi dunya naffasa allah anhu kurbatan min kurabi yawm al qiyamah that's just one narration but there are so many others whoever is to alleviate the struggling or the suffering of another allah will alleviate their struggles on the day of judgment another says Allah will alleviate their struggles in this world and the next so reach out to others it's a pillar of Islam zakah is a small percentage of your wealth you can give more than that the greater or the more you reach out the greater the peace you will feel if you want greater peace learn to reach out to people look at the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in all honesty they gave 20 50% of their wealth in some cases we know of abu bakr as siddiq radiyallahu anhu on a few occasions when he came up with 100% of what he had 
No one's asking you for a hundred percent. All we are saying, reach out to your neighbor for your own benefit, Muslim or non-Muslim. Reach out to those who are walking around, those in need for your own benefit. It will help you because if you, if you don't give, someone else is going to give. Who lost out? You lost out. You want the peace? Together with prayer, you need to give what Allah has given you from it to those who don't have it. And Allah will grant you the peace. Then we have Sawm or Ramadan, fasting in the month of Ramadan. It creates compassion. It will help you as an individual. The primary aim is to achieve the consciousness of Allah. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ in order that you achieve the consciousness of Allah. That's the primary aim. But I tell you, my brothers and sisters, as a bonus, your health will improve. You have fasted. As a bonus, your compassion improves. Your connection with Allah improves. So many other things improve. That's amazing. Allah will grant you peace. You are meant to control your temper. You are meant to develop your character during the month of Ramadan. So you have a right over yourself as well. And the last thing that I'd like to mention is Hajj, the pilgrimage, the sacrifice, the struggle for the sake of Allah. Those who can afford it should be going to the house of Allah in Makkah al Mukarramah. My brothers and sisters, this is also a house of Allah. Those who frequent the houses of Allah in their own areas, Allah will take them to the ultimate house of Allah on earth, which is at the Kaaba. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us there. How hypocritical is a person who wants to go for Hajj. They want to go for Umrah, but they don't even make it to their own masajid in their own areas, in their localities. When this too is a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you start off on your local level. Not only should you visit the house of Allah, contribute towards it. Make sure you've dug deep in your pockets to ensure that the light bill is paid perhaps by your money. Everything else is done because you have helped contribute, participate and be a member of the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you peace. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the doors of peace. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a return back to these basic pillars of Islam. I've addressed them in a very, very concise way in order for us to realize when Allah decided these are pillars of the faith. Wallahi, it is a serious matter. It's not a minor matter. When we say the pillars of Islam, adopt them, follow them, understand them, and you will achieve not only peace in this world, but wallahi, peace in the hereafter as well. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيما لشأنه وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الداعي إلى رضوانه صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأعوانه وخلانه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون الكيس من دان نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت والعاجز من أتبع نفسه هواها وتمنى على الله قال الله عز وجل وتوبوا إلى الله جميعا أيها المؤمنون لعلكم تفلحون عباد الله قال عليه الصلاة والسلام من صلى علي واحدة صلى الله عليه بها عشرا وقال الله عز وجل إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم فصل وسلم وبارك وأنعم على عبدك ورسولك محمد أفضل الخلق وأكرم الرسل وارض اللهم عن خلفائه الراشدين الأئمة المهديين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي 
اللهم ارض عنهم وعن سائر الصحابة والتابعين وعنا معهم بمنك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا وأصلح أئمتنا وولاة أمورنا اللهم احفظ البلاد والعباد اللهم انصر المظلومين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المظلومين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المظلومين في كل مكان اللهم كل المستضعفين يا قوي يا عزيز يا جبار السماوات والأراضين يا صاحب كل نجوى ويا منتهى كل شكوى اللهم يا شافي اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين يا أرحم الراحمين ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين وارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صار إليه ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر وأقيموا الصلاة يرحمكم الله عز وجل